Hello everyone, Adventure 719 and today I'm going to be doing a review on the um, Winchester Model 1911 BB gun. Uh, I recently picked this one up and I thought I would share it with you guys by making a review video. So um, first I'll go over the basic specifications. Um, it weighs 1.9 pounds and it's 8.5 inches long and it fires BBs only, not pellets. It has a 15 capacity magazine and and it shoots 410 feet per second. Um, and then some of the body specifications I'll go over now. It has um, full metal construction on the slide and the handle and the trigger assembly and the hammer and all that's metal. Um, even the safety and everything. Everything but the grip which is made of um, high quality ABS plastic. It's all metal. Very heavy. Uh, I believe it's yeah 1.9 pounds. I just read the manual. Um, it's semi-automatic so just shoots all 15 shots as fast as you can pull the trigger. It's CO2 powered. Um, blowback action. And the really cool thing is on the very last shot the slide actually stays open just like the real gun would. So now we'll go over some of the basic features of the gun. So there's the 1911 trigger. It's a great replica. Um, there's the uh, magazine release. It's not ambidextrous. It's not on the other side there. So all you do is you just push it and it pops, pops it out a little bit. It's not a full magazine. Not clip, sorry. Magazine. It's not a full one. Um, CO2 actually goes in the gun, uh, but because there's CO2 in it right now, I can't take it out, but there's the basic magazine, just put the BBs in there, pull the spring down. It's effective though, it does the job. Now, here's the safety, so right there, off safe, on safe, to put it back on safe, you have to push it down and pull it down. Uh, here's the slide lock, just like a real gun, you just pull it back. And then locks in place just like that. And you can actually see the barrel just like that. And uh, then you just push it forward, push it down. It'll go forward. Now the CO2, you have to pull this piece out of the handle, that little lever right there. And then the side grip plate will pop off. And I won't do that right now because I have a, almost a full CO2 in here loaded up for the video. Um, the sights, they're just iron sights. I believe it's a adjustable back sight by that screw right there. And so, there's the sights. And it has a grip safety here that's non-functional, just for looks. You can still pull the trigger without having that squeezed. Um, got a nice gripping here on the slide. And lots of different markings engraved into the gun not just painted on and um, it's double action and single action so that's pretty cool uh, very easy um, trigger pull and so that's the basic overview what I'll do now is to give you a demonstration of the blowback and to do that I'll take out the, the magazine so that it senses that there's still bullets in there or else it'll lock open so as you can see it's off safe and the hammer is cocked back. Since it's not spring, you don't actually have to cock the hammer back every time. Now I'll pull the trigger, then uh, I'll put it in slow motion so you guys can get that too. Firing in three, two, one. So I'll put slow motion in now. And now we'll go outside and do some basic shooting tests for accuracy and um, distance. So here we are in my little tin can gallery in the backyard. So I've loaded up 15 shots and uh, can just go over. Let's see how accurate this is.
there you go. So I, I did hit every can, so I'm just gonna fall over. So uh, one more thing. All right, everyone. So there on that green bench is a can of full can of dealkalized beer. So yeah, this should be fun. Firing. There we go. Right, right there. Hit it once. Let me zoom in. When it gets low on CO2, you have to hand cock it. And there you go. Thanks for watching.